Uh, Marilyn is Billie Jean's lover at this time in, in her life, in Billie Jean's life. And uh, my character's sort of like the embodiment of hope and freedom and female emancipation and sort of really wonderful recklessness. So it was, a, it was kind of a wonderful thing to play. It felt nice, it felt very nice. Well, people have been talking about it for a while, and uh, and then Valerie, um, Valerie Ferris and Jonathan Dayton, uh, there are other directors, and they've done a great job of um, getting the right people. You know, in business, we talk about getting the right people on the bus. That's what makes a business successful. Well, this is a movie, and getting and, and Jonathan and Valerie were saying, you know, if we, it's seventy-five percent of getting the movie right is getting the right people, the right cast. And uh, every single actor did their job. I mean, because I know I know every character probably in this movie, and I can just tell you how uh, authentic and accurate they were, and how dimensional they got the dimension of each of these people. Uh, it was fascinating how these actors process and how they get there. But they all did a wonderful job. It was yeah, it was pretty pretty unbelievable. I had never played a real person before, so. You know, to play Billie Jean King it was just surreal, and she was she was so present and understanding and um, and supportive. So it was really a very lucky thing. I mean, she's a force of nature. When she walks in a room, it's like Billie Jean is in the room, and you could feel her energy. And when it came to actually playing her, I realized that nobody can be Billie Jean King, but to capture some of that essence, hopefully, was was important to me just because she, and whether it worked or not, I am not sure, I, I tried my best, but she has such an incredible, um, she really backs up everything she says with action and she really is on the ground making change and always has been, so um, yeah. So I think we all, Simon Beaufoy, the writer, and, and John and Val, the directors, were, we all really wanted to, to capture that spirit. I spent, not a ton of time at the beginning. We sat and we talked, we played some tennis, we would check in with each other from time to time, but I kind of quickly realized that she has so much hindsight now and she's able to sort of have, um, I don't know, more more understanding of what was going on within her in that time, which is hard to find when you're going through it. So it was actually more helpful to kind of just watch footage of her in that time period or read articles or, um, you know, sort of really dive into what it would be at 29 instead of instead of now. But it was just, you know, I, I would still text her and say, like, in this circumstance, how did you feel? And she'd be like, I was scared, I was afraid, I was numb. You know, she was so open about about what she was going through. So it was it was amazing. Well, it, we, we read the script in 2015 by Simon Beaufoy and. We remember the match, but there was so much in the script that we didn't know about what was going on in Billie Jean's life and Bobby Riggs' life and um, at the time, sort of behind the scenes. And, and that's the story that really grabbed us and made us want to tell it now. We've been talking to Emma for years about working together. And of course, we worked with Steve before, so this felt like the perfect chance to pull everyone together. And, and they've worked together before, and uh, so it just it, it felt like the right time. I mean, we were heading into an election. With, we were sure that a, most, pretty sure that we had a, we would have a woman candidate, most likely running against a man. So, you know, it just felt like okay, these issues are getting uh, you know sort of they're they're. Heating up. Alive again. Uh, they always are, though. The problem is <laughs> they never go away. So uh, it's nice to have a film that sort of is, is hopefully an inspiration to people who, uh, you know, just can find find a voice and then go out and use it, and hopefully for good. Yeah. Well, comedic actors are always, we have found, they're great. They can do drama. Like, it just comes so natural. Their timing's great. And, and they're all, you know, they understand pain. Most comedians are very... Uh, you know, they've, they've lived it, so they're just, and we love them, and they're so fun to work with, and it's not like we're always cracking up on the set, or you know, but it, I think they, they like doing something also that they haven't done quite before, so. The producer, Christian Colson, uh, Danny Boyle, and myself, we've worked together on lots of movies. We went to see Billie Jean King, because we thought, you cannot tell the story without not only her agreement 
uh, collaboration. This is about very intimate things to do with her personal life. And we didn't feel we had the right to do that unless she was involved and agreed. And she was very trusting and very generous and said, yeah, OK, you guys make some interesting movies. Go ahead. I don't know. I think it's, it's hopeful. It's got a complex ending. And nobody runs off into the sunset with the love of their life because times were really different then. And you couldn't be gay and out as a sportswoman or you would lose everything, which happened to Billy. So it's, it's a complex story. Some things have improved and some things haven't. Yeah, interesting guy. More, more complex than I think people gave him credit for. He, um, you know, I was 11 when the match happened, and I, even then I knew that it was a put on, that he was, it was a joke. And he was tapping into this, you know, women's lib zeitgeist that was happening right then, and he saw a way in. But I don't think he had a political bone in his body. I just, he wanted to make money and it was all self-promotion and it was all to promote this match but he you can tell he's not he's not a very good he wasn't a very good actor and you could tell when he was going on and on about this men are better than women it wasn't connected to his heart he was just saying it to get people riled up well i worked out with his his coach is named lorny cool who's depicted in the movie as well and uh so he would come up from San Diego four days a week and we'd practice and, and talk about Bobby. So I, I gained an insight into him there. I, I spent some time with Bobby's son um, and just got a different angle, a different side from what, what you see projected on TV because it's a very different persona.